Hi, my name is Nick Davis, your personal life coach and hypnotherapist. And what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about conflict resolution. And what we're going to look at is um, different ways of how this um, happens and different ways of how you deal with it and treat it. And therefore how you feel about it. So on the chart here we've got your level of assertiveness. And this goes from the low levels of assertiveness all the way up to high levels. And also your levels of cooperation with that person or that situation. So low levels of cooperation all the way to high levels of cooperation. Now what happens in a um, particularly heated um, uh, situation of conflict, you'll get here, you'll get a, high, a low level of cooperation where people dig in and go, I'm, not, I'm just not dealing with that, I'm not, I'm not having that. But a high level of personal assertiveness. So, so we call this competing. So this kind of um, level of competition really you want for major sports like boxing or something like that but in terms of um, a disagreement with somebody this is a behaviour that's going to pour fuel onto that fire. Then we go to the other end of the scale if we have low cooperation but we also have low assertiveness we get basically get avoiding so people avoiding the conflict altogether. Um, now this is not a great strategy because it doesn't actually change uh, what's happening. The only time I would use this strategy would be if somebody is relentlessly attacking us or in a violent situation or a very highly strong aggressive situation where we want to completely avoid that. This is somebody where you're dealing with somebody who's not going to negotiate. Then we have the kind of middle ground which is where we've got mid mid-range levels of cooperation and mid-range levels of assertiveness. So that would put us here. <clears throat> so this is called compromising behaviour. Um, so we would behave in this way when the outcome is really, really important to us. So um, it's not one of those situations where walking away is as favourable as getting our, our complete outcome. It's very, very outcome driven. So we want a, a medium level of assertiveness and a medium level of cooperation. Now, another way that people deal with um, conflict is to completely cooperate. And this is called... Accommodating behaviour, um, and also known in transaction analysis as um, rescuing behaviour. Unfortunately, this doesn't teach people in a situation of conflict to treat you any differently. Um, so this is a negative uh, strategy here. It can be a good strategy if it's somebody that you're very, very close to that needs some love and support. Okay, but in terms of conflict, uh, being accommodating. Um, I would only use if it was a situation that I couldn't get out of, that I needed to placate the person before I then avoided that person, like I said, in a violent or very, very highly strong aggressive situation. Um, and then what we have is um, the, the last quadrant, which is the most favourable quadrant, which is where we're completely uh, cooperating with that person, but completely being assertive. And this is what we call... Collaborating, and this is where two people come together and both stand up for what they believe in and assert those things, but also cooperate with each other as well. So that basically the outcome is then driven as a collaboratory um, outcome, so that both parties get what they want from that scenario. In order to understand which one of these you're in, we should really ask ourselves some questions. Um, so firstly, if you find yourself in a situation of conflict, firstly, look at the situation and ask yourself, am I withdrawing? Is the situation making you want to pull away from it so you can't resolve it? Am I feeling alienated? Do you feel pushed out? Am I denying myself? What I mean by that when I say, are you denying yourself, is are you denying yourself the things that you want, the things that are going to make you happy? So then what you would do is you'd look for the evidence of these things. So my evidence of this is, so you can find out the evidence from withdrawing, 
uh, the evidence from feeling alienated, you could feel that whenever I'm in that uh, social group, that work group, that relationship, that I find myself not feeling part of that. My evidence is this, is the way I feel, it's a feeling in my stomach, I automatically leave the room when that person comes in, etc. Some other helpful questions to ask yourself are these. How much are you compromising yourself? And this will give you an indication of how much you're giving away and is that too much? Because really when we look at um, happiness and, and, and conflict resolution, we're looking at the longer term. Number four, how are you not considering the concerns of the other person? Sometimes it may be that we're feeling really, really bolshy and maybe we're driving too hard. Maybe it's not a win-win situation. We're driving what we want without taking the concerns of the other person. So that's a good question for us to see that. The other way to flip that coin uh, around is how are you not considering your own concerns, your own considerations, your own wants, needs? So that's a good question to make sure that you're not completely um, allowing that person to you know, run riot all over by you cooperating too much and having a low level of assertion. Are the concerns equal? You can ask yourself, are their concerns as equal as mine? You know, do they fit in? Do we have different values? The last question that I like is, what would be the most favourable outcome for the long term? And when you ask yourself this question, it fires off a load of other things in your brain that will, instead of us being driven by ego behaviours, you know, I want to be right, right now, we'll look at, well, what's right or what's good for the longer term, for my longer term happiness and for my values and my beliefs. So I hope that's been helpful and shed some light on hopefully some situations you may have been in or you may encounter in the future. Um, but just some little things to consider about different kind of situations that you may be in within conflict and different ways of looking at them. So I hope that's helped. That's my video for today and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.